All right, so I have guest. This is going to be for the ESCs. I just took a guess. And I cut four of each for, the, for the ESCs. And I'm going to tin those up. And then I'm going to solder each of the ESC motors. The, the signal and the ground wires for the ESCs. One on the outside and the inside here. Inside for number two and the outside for number four. Now I'm going to do the grounds, which is going to be here, 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 and here. Okay, so on here we've got S bus PPM Smart Port Voltage Ground. I don't need the CPPM one. So instead of pulling it out, I'm just gonna clip it. snip it off so that I end up with that. Okay. Now planning to just mount this on top of the board like this. Like that. So you can see I don't I don't need to go very far. I've got smart port and then the next one will be S bus and then voltage and then ground. And you know what? Worst case, I could always depin this. So I've got to make sure it goes this way up for my bind button to be sitting right there. Now these are going to wrap under here 
or come up underneath. So I'm gonna clip these and tin them now. So the ground is gonna be the one, two, three, four, fifth one over. Next one will be the positive. Next one is the S bus, which is our white wire. to tin up and wire the ESC power and ground wires to the flight controller. Um, I'm doing it a little different. I haven't actually received my ESCs yet. I'm still waiting on them. They should be here tomorrow. So I'm going to tin them up and wire them to the flight controller and then I'm going to basically, I'm going to get all my wiring done on my flight controller uh, and then I'm just going to drop it into place and I'm going to sort of build from the inside out rather than putting the motor in and then the ESC and then connect into the flight controller. So what I've done is I've cut eight wires, four red, four black, and I've cut them to about three inches of length and I'm going to tin them up now and then um, I'm going to run them to the flight controller. I'm coming from the bottom up so um, pretty easy to do but uh, I'm going to I'm going to tin those now and then I will uh, either skip to where I'm done or, or fast forward so I'm coming up from the bottom and I'm going to attach to them. Now you'll see on this Tempest board that there are plus or a minus sign and then a plus and a minus and a plus and you might at first glance if you're doing it in the same order as me you might notice those and think that those are for the, all of these pin headers running along the bottom but they're not. They're, they're the power designated for the ESC so um, so don't get confused because on the on up here I think there's actually a voltage that's right underneath the negative sign and, and so you get a little a little concerned but I did check it with my voltmeter and, and it, it is referring to the polarity of the ESC hole. So so basically the ground is on the left, positive on the right, ground positive, ground positive, ground positive. So I'm just gonna work my way around the board and I'm gonna be inserting these ESC wires and I'm gonna hit them with soldering iron. So I will uh, maybe show the first one and then skip to the last one. Pretty pretty basic. I'm um, just gonna make sure I got nice, good, clean solders, and then uh, and then uh, just work my way around. So.
Um, <laughs> looks like a spaghetti nest under here, but I mean, everything's going to go to one side. It's like uh, these are going to go to one ESC, these are going to go to an ESC, these are going to an ESC, these four are going to an ESC. That's my receiver. Um, I need to do some stuff on the back, so I need to do an LED and a buzzer, and then I'm going to use, I'm going to hit the LC filter pin up here for the v VTX, and I'm going to actually run a couple extra wires for a transponder up there too, but I'll, I'll flash up the, the diagrams there so you know exactly which ones I'm, I'm tapping into before I do it. So, anyways, uh, so that is it for the ESCs. Now I will go ahead and attach my, my uh, LEDs the RGB LED and the buzzer leads now and I'm going to use uh, I think those are 20 gauge silicone wire they're pretty small so anyways that's it for that's it for that one so right now I'm going to do the I'm going to wire the LEDs um, if you're looking at the back of the board it is if you're counting from the right, it's the third, fourth, and fifth pins. The third pin is the signal. Fourth one is the voltage. Fifth one is the ground. And I'll flash a flash picture up right now to show you. Okay, so. Uh, again, I've just cut off about five inches of wire. I'll trim it up later. I'm just uh, getting everything done this way. So, first one is the signal, and it's going at the third hole. Next one's going to be the voltage. It's in the fourth hole from the right. Okay, and then the last one's going to be the ground. Okay, so now we have our three wires for the LEDs, and it, my LEDs are going to sit on the back, uh, back underneath the quad, right next, right by the battery. Uh, at WS2812B, it's a buzzer LED all on one board. I used that on my last quad. It's like six or seven bucks. It's really easy to use. So I like easy. So okay. And that's it for those. Okay, now I'm going to do the buzzer. Uh, and now we're going to be going from the back left. Count over. The third one over is going to be the voltage. The fourth one over is a switched ground. So we're going to put uh, my red wire in this third hole. I'm going to do ground in the fourth. That's a switched ground. So that's 
when I arm that in Betaflight or when I flip that switch in Betaflight it's going to activate this switch ground and it'll turn the buzzer off and on. Okay, that's it for the buzzer. Now I'm going to be doing the VTX power and ground. I'm going to be using the LC powered port from the Tempest, which is the inside row, second pin down. That's the LC power, uh, the filtered power to my VTX. And then the inside row, most forward facing pin or top pin is going to be the ground. Now I know that my VTX is going to be sitting back here and this is the plug that came with my TBS Unify Pro HV Race and the top two wires kind of come on its own with a JST connector so I'm going to just snip that and pre-tin that and I'm going to sort of just guesstimate on the length there I'm going to guess it to be I'm going to leave a little bit of slack in case I need to pull the cover off or whatnot. So I'm going to cut that about there. About like that. That's about, uh, well, I gave myself about three inches. And then I'm going to tin those wires and then uh, I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to solder those up from the bottom up inside. And so I'm going to attach my VTX to the flight controller right now. Okay, there's my VTX power.